Black City, Black City. Oh boy, Black City, Black City. I was born in Black City. Black City was a place that everybody forgot about. The wind there was cold in the summer. At nights, it would get so quiet, you could hear the trees grow. Everybody in Black City went to bed at 9 p.m. on the dot. There was a clock in the center of the city and everyone lived their whole life around that clock. There were gangs in this city. These gangs were relentless, but they didn't do usual gang stuff. They didn't kill anybody or deal drugs. They didn't do anything particularly violent. These gangs were mixed up in hyper-dimensional magic. What is that? Black city, black city. Hyper-dimensional magic. Imagine the concept of angels and, demo, and demons uh, being tampered with, you know. I think witchcraft and demonism are terminologies you could use here, but not in Black City. In Black City, this was a science. This was something that small groups of people could go to schools and fraternities and gangs to learn how to manipulate energies. Black City, Black City. One of these gangs were called the Ku Krot. The Ku Krot were a gang of albino Indian females. A strange group if you ask me. They stood out in Black City. This gang started by having all their initiatives, initiates, get a single tattoo. It was a hidden tattoo. And each gang member had this hidden tattoo in a different place. It was the same tattoo. And the tattoo was an hourglass. And whenever you get this tattoo, the hourglass would say how long you have in this gang. How much time you have to get your job done. Whatever your purpose is in this crew crut gang, you would have a certain amount of time. So some girls got the tattoo in between their toes. Some got it under, in the back of their hairline. Some people got it under their armpits. Some people got it in their butt cracks. Most people got it in their butt cracks, actually. It's easy. Less pain. I heard the toes were kind of painful. Black city, black city. So this gang would go around terrorizing bitches. One of the first group of bitches to be under attack were fat bottom girls. The crew cut didn't like these, these women at all. So, using their funny magic, a lot of these girls would wake up flat-bottomed. All of their asses would have been disappeared. Imagine this. You go to bed, you've been taking awesome Instagram photos because your butt is all fancy. You are blessed by Jesus or whoever gives people butt cheeks. And you wake up in the morning and you're a white girl. Could you imagine? This, this, would, this, would, uh, this would cause a lot of young girls to, to commit suicide. And that's what was happening in Black City. And nobody knew why. Nobody could figure it out. Until the Ku Klux gang openly put out a bulletin saying, fat asses, watch out. Now, the funny thing about these tattoos is 
These girls that were getting into these gangs didn't know that these tattoos were also magical. And when your hour ran out, you died. You didn't just die. Oh, good God. Every spell that you put on somebody that brought any pain or hurt to any part of nature would turn back upon you tenfold and suddenly envelop you in such a way where it will cause you to succumb. Could you imagine? But these girls didn't know. So this gang continued to feed its desire to use and destroy for years and years in Black City, Black City. Until one day, they emerged a young, it's a young boy. He was a part of the LGBT movement. Now for the spells to work with these hourglasses tattoo, you had to be a female. You had to have certain feminine energies working within the body. And this young boy was raised as a girl. This little albino motherfucker. Raised as a little girl and joined the Ku Klux Klan got the tattoo and was out there slinging tits and asses. Just cutting them down. This is all they did. There were a lot of these gangs. This story about this one particular one. Next week we might talk about something else in Black City, Black City. So this young boy in this gang doing stuff. And when it came time for his hourglass to run out, nothing happened. And the leader of this particular cult, which is what it is, in the middle of a ritual, when this person was supposed to disintegrate into a bundle of horrors, every other member and leader of the gang immediately succumbed to all of their hate, pain, and desire to destroy what we all need in this world, which is fat bottom girls. We all know it, we all need it. Strange, this story. The fat asses were saved by is now a girl. Well, I guess it's 2021. That's how things goes, man. It's Black City, Black City. We'll see you guys next week.